Hi everyone, this is Brian Gundy from For Goodness Snakes out of San Jose, California. And the snake I have in front of you tonight is one of my hypomelanistic motley boa constrictors. And for those of you that uh, don't um, know the term hypomelanistic, it means lacking black. And um, so this is a combination of two morphs, a hypo uh, hypomelanistic, <laughs> hypomelanistic boa and a motley. Motley is a co-dominant gene trait, and hypomelanistic boas is a, or are a, um, dominant gene trait. And, uh, this particular female is, uh, 2008. She's, um, she'll be two years old in April. And, uh, she's a pretty big female for her age. She's a sweetheart. And, um, She's got some great color. I took some video of her the other day, and uh, actually um, in the daylight outside, and um, wasn't really happy with the way this, the color turned out. This particular female is just oozing in red, and uh, looking forward to uh, producing a litter from her probably next year. She's at 10 pounds right now at two years old, or just about two years old, so I think she'll be ready in 2011. And as you can see, this tail is just gorgeous. She's um, very, very um, red. And um, she's also 66% het for albino. She came from the litter that I produced uh, my son Glamotley from. So my hope is that um, I'll prove her genetics to be het for albino by breeding her with an albino motley and uh, with hopes of... Uh, producing um, maybe, you know, um, some uh, sun glows and albino motleys and um, eventually trying to work her into the gene pool to try to strengthen the super motley end of the project. And I'm still not um, totally sold on the fact that that particular gene or this particular morph is um, a dead-end morph, is, as some people might think. I think through selective breeding, careful selective breeding, that we might be able to produce uh, super motleys that um, will do well and um, thrive and uh, produce. And um, we um, hopefully will will take that project to its next level. So there is a lot uh, in store for this particular female, and um, we'll just have to wait and see and be patient and see if we can uh, uh, take that project to the next level. So anyway, I thought I'd take some video of her in the snake room and uh, let you guys see her color. And these guys are very arboreal, which you can tell she wants to climb. She has no interest in me. She just wants to get to the top branch. All right, well, this is Brian Gundy from For Goodness Snakes, and hope you guys are having a great season. And uh, looking forward to seeing all the different uh, morphs that are going to be born and hatched this year. I'm looking, uh, looking forward to all the... Um, projects that everybody's working on and I'm getting excited. I've got a few uh, uh, gravid ball pythons and at least one gravid boa and um, we're, uh, we're getting to the point where it's starting to be fun. So a lot more fun than usual. It's always fun but uh, this is the best time of year so far as I'm concerned. When we start having babies and eggs start getting laid and, and then later on start hatching. So anyway, like I said, this is Brian Gundy from For Goodness Snakes out of San Jose. Saying goodnight. Take care.